imagine being able to go out in nature with your friends, get active, and have a friendly competition. That's disc golf. Easily one of the most underrated sports to play with your friends. But buying a bunch of new discs eventually got expensive. So I decided to design and 3D print my own disc. After looking at my favorite discs, most of them were overstable. Knowing this, when I made the cross section for the disc, I made sure to have a high parting light along with a flat top to make sure the disc was overstable. And after revolving the cross section of the disc and making a couple fillets, my disc design was done. So I picked up some TPU to make sure the disc actually felt like a disc. And then the slicer said it was going to take a day, 14 hours and 4 minutes. So slowly but surely, I changed a bunch of settings and with sacrificing a little bit of quality, I got the disc to 11 hours of printing time. And it would also only use 168 grams of the TPU filament I bought, so this whole disc would only cost me $5 instead of buying a disc for like $15 to $20. So I actually might be cooked because this thing's printing, but it says that it has 67 hours remaining. Absolutely absurd. So it ended up actually taking about 11 hours. And the print quality was actually pretty good even though I turned down some settings. Even though there's a little bit of stringing, overall it was good print. And after all that boring engineering stuff, it was finally time for the fun part. Yes sir. Yes sir, I'm gonna look back in this in, in like 20 years. In conclusion, the disc was pretty terrible, it barely went 50 feet, and from this experience I learned that you should never challenge yourself, you should never try anything new, never try to do anything yourself, always just buy expensive stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, never mind, uh, the disc was goaded. <laughs> On a serious note, after realizing the disc was decent, I decided to compare it to another mid-range disc that I use. As you could see by the snow, it was pretty cold and windy, so I only got three throws on each disc. But when I was throwing, I kept accidentally releasing the discs with some Anheuser. And this actually worked well with the 3D printed disc because it was so overstable that it would just capitalize off of it and have a nice S-curve motion, which got it a lot more distance than the Truth, which just held the angle and dropped straight to the ground. Overall though, it's safe to say that the 3D printed disc is pretty good to use as a mid-range. discs are great especially if you design them yourselves. My expectations were so low that I was stoked, surprised, and flabbergasted when the disc actually flew. <laughs> if you want the STL file for the disc I made, I uploaded it on Maker World. Unless you're really try hard, uh, it shouldn't be a problem that the disc isn't PDJ approved. And you can find the link at the top of the description. I recommend though if you want a 3D printed disc that you design it yourself because it's fun and you honestly have no clue if it's even going to fly. Anyways, I'm glad the disc flew decently. Let me know what videos y'all want to see next and I'll see y'all in the next video.